What's up guys, Snazzy iPhone Hacker here and today I have a product review on the Cena dockable case for iPhone 3G. You guys can see here, iPhone 3G dockable. I got this in the black and blue color and before I get into this I just want to let you guys know Cena cases was nice enough to send this over $50 case out to me and after, being, after checking out their website and being on it for a while I've come to love all of their leather cases. They have everything from pouches to wallet book cases to Sarok designer cases that just came out recently, Corsa designer cases, magnetic dockable cases, magnetic flipper cases. They make them not only for the iPhone 3G, but iPod Nanos, iPod Touches, Blackberries, everything guys. They do everything from like singular to HTC cases, to Motorola, LG, Trio, Samsung, everything guys. They have a wide variety of leather cases and I highly recommend their um, their website, okay? Which is cenacases.com, so check them out. Prices are a little high, but you're paying for high quality leather products, okay? So, this Cena dockable case was $52 from cenacases.com. It comes in a wide, wide variety of um, colors like orange uh, or tan I believe it's orange actually green blue brown um, which is tan sorry S white pink black and red black and blue and I saw the black and blue one and guys which I'm gonna show you right now I think it's the be one of the best colors on their site okay before before I show you it you get a beautiful Cena pouch alright so when you pay high dollars you get high quality stuff okay guys you're gonna get a lot of good stuff so hold on I'm just gonna light on alright so we got this nice pouch which I'll get into later you got a clip which you'll see why and the pieces for the clip although I had the piece on the actual case right now and also this tool to put the back piece on you'll see what that is in a sec so open up this nice little drawstring pouch and you have this beautiful Cena leather case alright this is the piece I was talking about guys um, and I put this piece on myself, it gives you instructions inside on how to put it on. And what it basically is, is a multi-directional clip. So, you go like that guys, and it's staying there, and you can clip it on however you want to make it hang however you want. Press that button up top. Uh, yeah, press the button on top. Am I doing that? Oh, sorry, I was pushing up when I should have been pushing down, my fault. Alright, and then do it again. So if you want to have it upside down, or if you want to have it like the normal way, sorry about that. Alright, that's how it is, alright? So awesome. You can have this on your pants, on your backpack, whatever you want. This clip works great, and it's really strong, alright? It's plastic though, but it works great, alright? And this is not going anywhere. I'll show you how to take that off in a second, but let's put this awesome iPhone in here, alright? I got it cleaned up on my microfiber, so we're good to go. Got my iPhone, alright, but first off, open this up. You guys can see that the bottom is thin, like it's not like a big chunky piece of leather. So that means it is dockable, guys, which is great. That is really great, and it does dock, okay? Trust me on that. Inside is blue, and you guys can see, cenacases.com, genuine leather. Smells amazing after two weeks of use pretty much um, still haven't broken it in though because I haven't been using it for two weeks I just had it for two weeks but you guys can see this thing looks awesome for some reason when I have this my iPhone in this case I feel like the screen is bigger like it just give it, gives it that effect for some reason um, that part still hasn't really worked in so that, that will help that will work its way in in a little bit after using this you guys will see this is what happens on all leather cases pretty much that have flippers. When it's down, it's perfectly fine, but when you have it up, it is going to get a little wrinkly, I guess you could say, alright? So, um, when this case is closed, you guys can see it has a clip, a little button, alright? Wish that was a little more clicky, if you know what I mean. Like, I put it in here, and, and listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, first off, it's like, it's not really like a good fit I feel like it's gonna fly off all the time but it doesn't it's really good it's really well made so it's fine on that 
This side is perfectly protected except for your corners. And your iPhone camera is pretty vulnerable, which is alright though. That's totally open. Alright. Good access to your um, volume ringer. Alright, once you work that in. Headphone jack is open, and that is not unless you have it flipped open. Alright, so um, in the front, you have your sensors are open and your um, speaker. Bottom, you have both um, speakers again, I guess. Are well, nice, really well cut out for the speakers, and the dock is perfectly available. Nice and easy access to your screen. Nothing's in your way. And um, I'm not sure on this. I'll have to contact the um, Cena on whether this is a pocket or not. But you can put credit cards in here if you really want. I'm not sure if that's what it's for, but I think you can. I'll try that out later, probably. Um, but when you have this closed, all right, you guys can see it's not really thick and chunky. Um, if I compare it to a spec candy shell, I mean, it's about the same, almost the same height. Not really, actually. All right, it's not really that chunky. It feels great in the hand, just like this. It feels great feels like you're holding a really good phone you know like it adds some substantial bulk to it but that's because you're getting a leather case that also has a clip for your head um so yeah getting to that clip guys you put it what I like about this is that you guys can see multi-directional which means you can have it sideways and have it hang on your hip on the side which I like to do you can even have it hanging like this if you want. You can have it hanging any way you want, guys. And I realized that if you put it in not fully all the way, like that, it won't come off. But you can also spin it. But you guys can see it won't come off, but it can now spin. So, um, yeah, if that's a little tweak, if you want to try that, just don't push it all the way in. So that's great. And taking the clip part on and off is pretty simple. Taking it off is a lot easier than putting it on, though. I have to say because, hold on, let me show you. But um, yeah, while I'm doing this right now, check out the iFrogs ear pollution headphone giveaway, cause that is a great giveaway. You guys can see there's two. You get one extra of these screws, which is great just in case you lose one, cause they are very small. And then that back piece right there comes out. And this is what pretty much holds your um, clip in. Putting this on is a lot harder than, than it seems. Like It's not that hard, but lining it up perfectly and really holding it down, it does take some time. But after you do it a while, you will get like a little build up in there of how it dug into the uh, case itself. So once you get that, it pretty much lines up for itself. Um, without this piece on, it looks great. I love how they included that and not just left out the clip or just had it permanent. I love how you can choose whether you want it without or with. Perfectly smooth, pretty much, except for that little lump. Feels great in the hand, like I said before. Um, some cons about this are, first off, this clip. I really do not like that. I'd rather have this than um, a magnet because I'm not too sure how magnets are with um, touchscreen phones or f screens in general. So I'm glad that I I'm glad that I chose this, but it is kind of a stretch because you guys can see you gotta like really stretch to get it in there. And if you want to just access your phone, it's not that easy. You really do have to like get it in there, and it feels like it's not really a good connection. It feels like it's just sliding in there, like it's not clipping in there and sometimes you miss you go to the left you go to the right alright you have to really look at what you're doing to get it in there but it does work out well another thing I don't really like about this case is that if you're calling someone and you put this on your ear you have this thing in the way so you either have to fold it all the way down and hold it which is fine but um, that's what you're gonna get with any flipper case so I guess you have to deal with it <laughs> it's just a matter of opinion pretty much um, and one more flaw because I'm really trying to just rank this case since it's such a good case, is this thing, putting it on, takes about a couple minutes, unless you get the hang of it. Overall, though, this case is beautiful. I love it. Very protective, except on the four corners, which I don't like. If I drop it like that on the corner, it's hitting. 
it's gonna mess it up and my corners are already messed up so uh, yeah I love this case looks great feels great really good draw protection for the front and back corners not so much sides are all right, are all right. and this just looks great feels great smells great and I really like how it's also dockable okay so uh, thank you Cena cases for sending this out to me I'm gonna give this case um, a nine because it just looks awesome I love the um, how the way the screen is and how you guys have that curve and everything I love it but um, it's one point away from perfection since this thing annoys me that button really annoys me so it's, it's in between an eight and a nine but it's a great case totally worth the buy although I got free thank you Cena check out cenacases.com and subscribe to my channel peace out